Hey guys, it's Mika. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a book haul for you guys and I feel like I should explain why I've been gone for so long. But I mean, I feel like if you're a subscriber and you've been here for a hot minute, you know that I like go months, like months without posting and then I just pop out of nowhere like nothing happened. But this time I have a very good reason and it is because I've been so overwhelmed with school. If you didn't know, I am a senior in high school. So senior year for me personally has been extremely stressful. I have my SATs, I have college applications and just all this stuff that I was not expecting. So your girl's a little bit stressed, hasn't really had time to film, read, or even like live my life. I'm gonna be real with you all. I have no idea what most of these books are about and I have no idea when I got most of these books. I'm gonna try to explain where I got them and what they're about to the best of my ability, but like, if I have no idea what the synopsis is, I apologize. In advance <laughs> so i'm gonna start off with my book of the month boxes which i've only gotten two of the book of the months i'm like a new affiliate if you will but yes i am a book of the month affiliate and if you would like you can use my code down below it's 9.99 for your first box with the code ps something i will link it down below i think it changes every single month so yeah if you want a book of the month box for only ten dollars then use that link down below it really helps me out so this is a little box that it comes in super cute this was the august book and i chose house of salt and sorrow by aaron a craig and i'm really excited for this because i heard that it's very spooky and i love spooky season it's october it's fall time like spooky season is just prime you guys already know this i don't have to convince you and a lot of people that i know said that they got really freaked out while reading this and i love when a book can actually freak me out a little bit so i'm just hoping that i enjoy this um the cover is absolutely gorgeous and i'm really excited to read this i believe it's about 12 sisters and they keep dying and one of the sisters is trying to find out why and there's like ball dances and I don't know it just sounds amazing and I'm really excited to get to this where am I gonna put these books when I'm done talking about them so the next box came with a little bookmark that says book of the month on it and the book that I chose was permanent record by Mary H. K. Choi I've really been wanting to read her other book I forgot what it's called I think it's called like emergency contact I've really been wanting to read it and I just think her aesthetics are so nice like all of her covers are just so pretty like look at that that's so pretty i'm really excited about this i'm gonna be real can't tell you what this book is about literally have no fucking clue so the next is another box which i actually received today from big honcho media it was like a little promo box for this book called tristan strong punches a hole in the sky um i'm not really into middle grade and this is a middle grade book but it came in like this package it's so cute also ignore my atrocious nails yikes but it came in this package and they gave candy which if you know me personally you know i'm a whore for candy um this little thing which i will read in a second and then this notebook which you can never have too many notebooks and it has like orange sprayed edges which i absolutely adore and it also came with this keychain that says stay strong on it which my mom asked me to use this, so I guess I'm gonna give it to my mom. And then this is the book right here. It's um, Rick Riordan, Parade Sense, and I'm pretty sure the publishing company is Disney Hyperion. So yeah, I think I might give this to my little cousins because I'm not really a fan of middle grade and I know that they would probably enjoy this way more than me, so what can i say i'm a giving queen and then these are just little things that come with the book so i'm probably going to keep that in there for my cousins as well so the next few books are arcs two are from wednesday books and one is from simon teen i think so yeah let's get into that so i requested tweet cute by emma lord and i'm so excited for this one this one i can actually tell you the synopsis of because I requested the freaking arc um it is basically about these two people who go to the same school and they don't i don't think they know each other but their family has like they're not friends that's what i meant to say they know each other but they're not friends and their families have these rivalry business i guess these like food rivalry businesses or whatever and they end up making twitters for their businesses and they put their children in charge of the twitter account duh the 
daughter from the other business and the son from the other business get into like a Twitter war and so it becomes this like huge thing that gets viral and everyone's like following this Twitter war between these two businesses and it ends up being like a little cute rivalry between the two characters. I think it's hate to love. It sounds very cutesy and very contemporary -y, if you will so I'm really excited to read this and it comes out January don't know the exact date but it comes out in January so I gotta read this before the end of the year. The next book from Wednesday Books was Only Mostly Devastated and this is by Sophie Gonzalez. I'm not sure what this is about because I didn't request this one but it says that it's for people who liked Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda and Clueless plus a boy meets boy spin on Greece. So that actually sounds really good. So in the synopsis, it talks about how these two characters were only meant to have a summer fling, but it turns out to get a little bit more than that. And then I guess when school starts up again, it's a little bit awkward. So yeah, this seems like a really cute coming of age kind of story. And I need to definitely read a lot more contemporaries. I feel like I don't read that many contemporaries, or I should say YA contemporaries. I read a lot of new adult contemporaries, so. I need to get into books like this more because I feel like I would love this. I feel like this is my cup of tea. The next book, I'm pretty sure already came out already, but I got this one from Simon Teen or Simon Pulse, and that is Slay, and this is by Brittany Morris. And I'm really upset that I haven't read this yet, but I will get to it. I will get to it eventually. But look at the cover. I love when I see a fellow queen on the cover. I've heard really good things about this book, so. I will get to this eventually, okay? As soon as I knock off my TBR. Like, I just need to hurry up and read all these books, but your girl has been stressed. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the books that I meant to talk about a long, long time ago and never did. And that is all of the books I got while I was back in New York for BookCon back in June. Like, sis, it's been months. Why haven't you filmed a book haul? So some of the books that I got at BookCon are actually already on my shelves and I don't feel like taking them off but I think I can name them if I can't and I'm missing some. I don't really, I don't know. I do remember getting Lady Midnight, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I think those are the ones that are on my shelves. There might be more but for now I think those are the ones that I just put up on there because I did not feel like hauling them. So there's a bookstore called The Strand in New York and it's like really legendary. You have to go to The Strand if you ever go to New York. It's amazing and a lot of the books that they had are actually on sale. You just have to like look for them but a lot of the times they'll have like two of the same books and one will be on sale and one won't and they're literally the same thing like nothing's like different about them just one is on sale and one isn't. So I'd highly 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 recommend going to The Strand and like you know looking for things. The next book that I got from The Strand was The Book Thief. Now a lot of people have actually been telling me to read this and I just never owned it. I never really had interest in reading it but it's so many people's favorite books and I was just like okay you know what if it's so many people's favorite book I'm just going to buy it and hopefully eventually I will get to this. Hopefully eventually I will get to literally all of the books on my bookshelf because I need to. The next book I picked up was Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Now this one I'm really excited for. The cover first of all is insane. Like I love that. I love that so much. And just like the artwork inside I think it's so cool. I don't know if you can see any of that but yeah. I'm really excited for this. I know this is like sci-fi and I need to get more into sci-fi. I, I actually do like sci-fi, so I don't know why I don't read more of it, but I'm gonna read this soon. So the next book that I got was Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz, and I absolutely adored this book. At first I gave it a three stars, but then I rounded it up because it was just really good, and like I couldn't stop thinking about it after I finished it, and whenever that happens, I'm like, okay, like I have to give this book like one star up, no matter what the rating was, unless it was a five star. Yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed this book, and I had just a regular Amazon version. I pre-ordered it. Then I was in Barnes & Noble in New York, and I saw that this was signed and it was the exclusive edition, meaning that it had this beautiful artwork and an extra chapter. And I was like, take my money. So now I have two copies of this book 
and I'm not even mad about it. Now I'm going to get into the two arcs that I managed to pick up at BookCon. The first one, it was so random because Jake, Karina, and I were all literally just walking and there was a line and Jake and I looked at each other and we were like, let's just get in the line. And we got in the line and it turned out to be an arc for the 10,000 doors of January and Jake was literally the last person in the line. It was so funny. But yeah, this just came out this month and a lot of people have been raving about it. I never got to read this either. Um, I'm just really bad at reading arcs. Like I'm really bad at reading arcs, but also it just takes that one arc for me to like be like, oh yeah, I'm reading this right now. This book sounds so interesting because it's like this girl and she somehow is in this like mansion it's not really explained in the synopsis at least but she's in this mansion and she's like exploring all these artifacts and it's very mysterious and it's very like whimsical and i just i feel like i'm really gonna like this i'm not sure if it's historical fantasy or not but either way this is gonna be a fun ass read now the next book is my prized possession a heart so fierce and broken by bridget Cameron. now i love 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 a curse of dark and lonely okay like love it with my entire being carrie from carrie the book girl actually gave me her arc for this book considering that she hadn't even read a curse of dark and lonely yet so she was like yeah i'm gonna just take it whatever and then i ended up receiving another arc in the mail because when a curse of dark and lonely came out i was so in love with it that i immediately requested the arc for a heart so fierce and broken and the book obviously hadn't even been finished being written yet and yeah i basically requested the arc never heard back until i received it in the mail so i did a giveaway if you watch my vlog you know that but i'm just so happy like this book i just can't wait to i literally can't wait to read it but also i've heard such mixed things about it so now i'm really scared to read it i was gonna read it like immediately like as soon as i got it as soon as i got home and then i heard all these like mixed things about it and now i'm like should i just prolong it should i just read it now like what do i do i don't know also it's literally what time is it it's literally 11 30 p.m right now so my makeup is just like done from today and i literally feel like trash so if i'm like not energetic or not being myself you know why the next two books are also arcs i feel like i'm literally just like an arc hoarder like why do i have so many arcs make that make sense and why am i hauling them when literally half of them are already out like okay so i received the girl the sea gave back from wednesday books and i was really excited to read this i started it and everything and i didn't finish it are we surprised no then this one which is something i'm so excited about it just came out and i'm literally beyond excited to read this like this is something that i was looking forward to so much their packaging for it was incredible if i can find a video or a picture of it that i have i will insert it here so that you all can see the masterpiece of a promo box that they did for this book and that is daughters of nri or nri i don't even know how to fucking pronounce the title like mika but this is by Renny k amayo and look at this it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and it's like for once like these are dark skin girls like beyonce's brown skin girls like this book is that song as it should be this is literally just a fantasy book about two twins who were separated at birth and they have this like magic and it's just they get reunited and oh my god i just i cannot wait to pick this up this i can tell is going to be a favorite read whenever i get to it whether it's this year or next year and the packaging smells like my childhood like i don't even know how to describe it it came with like this candle and i think the, the scent of the candle like just engulf the entire package and it literally smells like cocoa butter and like shea butter and like oh it just smells so good i wish that like scent could transfer through the camera so that you could smell this so enough with the arcs now let's get into some other books so i went on book outlet and i bought lux now this is a special collector's edition from the Lux series, um, which if you haven't read that, you are in for a treat, if you will. This is basically a pretty old series and it's about aliens. Now, I don't really read books about aliens, but this one tops the cake for me. I don't even think I ever need to read books about aliens again because this is it for me. Damon, or Demon, however you pronounce his name, I say Damon, but it's 
spell demon he is my book boyfriend till the day i die like i am so incredibly in love i didn't even think it was possible to be more in love with the book character than i am with damon does that make sense anyways i honestly just love this series so much at first i thought that i could only get these books in paperback and then i realized that i could actually get them in hardcover so my dumbass is probably gonna go order these in hardcover as well and since i have the paperbacks i might as well just get them all in paperbacks too <laughs> that is the speech of a crackhead please don't follow like my footsteps like don't buy multiple editions of books it's literally so pointless like don't do it i mean you can like do it if you want to i'm just saying like don't follow my footsteps because like i know that it's like not good but anyways the next two books Ew, why did I say it like that? The next two books were actually given to me by an amazing friend, Saul from The Bookish King, and he sent me one of his favorite books of all time, and I think one of his favorite books of all time, I'm not sure, but he really likes this book. And he sent me Roar by Cora Carmack. Yeah, by Cora Carmack. And he said that there's like good smut-ish, not like great smut, but he said that there's smut, and it's like a very angsty read. And so I'm really excited about it. I don't know what it's about, but he keeps swearing up and down that this book is amazing. So I'm going to take his word for it. And we're going to, we're going to read this eventually, soon, hopefully. And the next book he also sent to me was The Evil Queen by Gina Showalter. This cover, I think, is just absolutely stunning. And oh, I thought that the Dushaka was going to have like this like nice design on it because the cover is so pretty. But I don't know what this is about either. I'm guessing it's about an evil queen. It says, in the forest of good and evil, every hero is a villain and every villain is a hero. It just depends on who you ask. Why does that sound so good? That sounds real good. I might be picking this up soon. So now I wanna show you guys where I get my books from for a really good price and in amazing condition and tell you guys that you guys should go to these places as well. So obviously the first place that I wanted to talk about that I forgot to talk about was Book Outlet. I got that Lux Special Edition um, paperback copy from Book Outlet and they are amazing. Um, but Book Outlet, if you're watching this, please make me a vlogger friend. Like I literally am on your website every single day. I am a hardcore stan. I love all of the books that you guys have on there. I'm just broke because I keep buying books. So, but anyways, as I was saying, Book Outlet is definitely the place to go if you really, 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 really want like, you know, affordable, affordable books that are in amazing condition. I would highly recommend Book Outlet. Like my first big purchase of books was from Book Outlet and I have never looked back since. The second place that I highly recommend you all check out and I'm about to haul a crap ton of books that I got from there recently is... Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Goodwill. Goodwill is one of my literal favorite places to find books because you will literally find books in perfect, almost never used condition for literally like a dollar or two dollars, sometimes three dollars. They never are above three dollars. So if you're looking for like books that you've read but you don't own or even if you want to look for some new reads, I would highly recommend going to Goodwill and like they have some hardcover books in perfect condition too. I'm about to show you. So the first book I picked up at Goodwill was... The Twilight Saga, the official illustrated guide. And this was like two dollars maybe, maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty. And it is in absolute perfect condition. You wouldn't even know I got this from Goodwill. Like you would think I literally bought it on Amazon. Um, yeah, it's in pretty much brand new condition. The pages are like stark white as you can tell. Yeah. I don't have to explain this to you. Also, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I don't have any more room next to my Twilight books. That's a problem. So the next two books that I got are actually Harry Potter books. And for those of you who know me, you know that I've been looking for the Harry Potter US editions, but I don't wanna pay full price for them because that's easily like $150 that your girl does not have. And Goodwill has literally been the reason why I own any of the books. Like I found almost every single book at Goodwill for such a cheap price and they're all in amazing condition like literally all of them are in amazing condition so goodwill does put the price of the books on the spine but i've noted that nail polish remover gets rid of them really well and it doesn't even ruin like the dust jacket or anything like that so 
yes i would highly recommend you go to goodwill if you're looking for harry potter books you will probably find them the next book i managed to pick up at goodwill was the bells by danielle clayton and i'm in love with the cover of this it just seems like a book that i'd really enjoy and i never ever got to pick it up and i feel like i just need more poc books on my shelf like as a poc myself why don't i have more poc books make that make sense but yeah this book is just so cute and i feel like the spine is gorgeous the cover is gorgeous everything about this book screams aesthetically pleasing and just like beautiful so i can't wait to read this and put this on my shelves <laughs> the next book i managed to pick up at goodwill was the fall in our stars by john green i actually already owned this book and i owned the silver edition like the exclusive edition and i lost it it's nowhere to be found i thought it was in my room and then i looked for it and it was like wait a second where is my book but goodwill came to the rescue and i found it and this was like two dollars so again if you were looking for a book that you have already read i would highly recommend checking out your local goodwill because nine times out of ten they probably have it and then the last book that i got from goodwill which is not the last book of this haul <laughs> sad i know but the last book i got from goodwill was gone girl by jillian flynn now listen to me y'all this book is not an easy one to find i literally wanted to buy it on amazon but it was sold out and i had no idea when it was coming back into stock and then i kept checking and it wasn't in stock and i was just like okay this is taking too long so i just like unadded it from all of my carts because i was like fuck it like i'm just never gonna read the book i already saw the movie who cares not only to mention this book is kind of expensive i'm pretty sure it's like 20 dollars which your girl was not paying $20 for this book. No, ma'am. I found it for like a dollar at Goodwill. So that's saying a lot. And also it is, of course, in perfect condition as well. You don't have to buy books brand new if you don't want to. And you can literally go to your local used bookstore or Goodwill or whatever thrift store you want and find books that are in perfect condition. Perfect condition. Like you don't have to sit here and buy books on Amazon and like, do all this like extra shit just because you know you want to have like full bookshelves like you can literally find these books for really really cheap but i'm just saying that there are alternative options if you know book hauls make you sad because you're like what the heck like how do they have so many books i promise you like most of my books are half off so keep that in mind so the last few books i actually ordered from amazon and these were my last purchases when it comes to books i haven't bought books since this which was probably back in late August, early September, and it's now October, so I haven't bought books in a hot minute. So the first one I wanna show you guys is The Winner's Curse, and this is by Marie Witzkowski. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but that's how it's spelled, so. Um, this one gives me Throne of Glass vibes, and I know the plot probably has nothing to do with Throne of Glass, and it's like nothing like it, but I am Sarah J. Mash Trash, and anything that remotely reminds me of one of her books, I'm gonna buy it like come on we know this um I should probably like actually figure out what the plot of this book is about okay so I just read the synopsis and it's nothing like a Sarah J Maas book <laughs> but it still sounds very interesting and I'm still looking forward to reading this I see this all over Twitter like you know those like book aesthetic accounts they're always raving about this book and so I'm just like okay if I have similar taste to most of those accounts like I'm probably gonna enjoy this now the next book I feel like I'm gonna be come at for because people seem to really 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 hate this book but I actually really enjoy it and I'm sure it's not a surprise to most of you because that book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard I mean I literally have the collector's edition right there so yeah this series just holds such a special place in my heart like i know it's problematic and i know it's not that good and it's kind of like a mixture of just all these other fantasy novels but for some reason it got me out of a really 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 bad reading slump when i was like in like eighth grade ninth grade and that kind of like put me into where i am now with reading like i've always been a reader but this book specifically like brought me back into loving reading if that makes sense like i hadn't read in like a year and then i read this book and i was like holy crap like i need more <laughs> so yeah i just i love this book so much and yes i'm really happy about it because now i finally have the full complete series and i can finally read war storm because that's the only book i haven't read yet and i think it's because i'm afraid of closure and i really don't want my favorite series to end so that's probably the exact same reason why i haven't read 
Tower of Dawn or Kingdom of Ash yet by Sarah J Maas and I'm getting a little bit stressed now so let's move on. The next book that I'm going to talk about that I recently got from Amazon is The Storm Crow and this is by Kaylin Josephson. Josephson? Kaylin Josephson. I can't say her last name. I'm embarrassed. Kaylin Josephson. This I believe there's like, like an arranged marriage. I am a hoe for books with arranged marriages. Don't ask me why because I literally couldn't tell you but I I just love it. I don't know why. I think it's because it's always hate to love and I love hate to love. The map on the inside is gorgeous and don't even get me started on this cover. Like ma'am. I'm just really excited about this. I feel like this is going to be a book that I really 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 enjoy and I might read this soon. I'm actually going to be filming my October or my spooky fall season TBR very soon. I'll probably film it on Sunday so I can get it up for you guys soon. But I'm gonna film that because I am looking forward to finally getting to read all these books after I finish with college applications and tests and school and all that uh, nasty stuff that I literally don't want to talk about. So why am I talking about it? Okay, we have reached the last and final book. If you stuck through this entire video with my boring ass and like actually watched the whole thing, thank you. Because I probably wouldn't have. So the last book that I bought recently was To Kill a Kingdom and this is by Alexandra Christo. Now this is a dark retelling of The Little Mermaid and this one I am so ready for. I love, love, love books about mermaids and just water and all of that and like especially dark retellings dark retellings of fairy tales are my favorites because most fairy tales like were originally dark and they were made into like this super light and like happy ending blah 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 whatever seeing them like get turned into light and happy fluffy stories to dark and twisted stories make me so happy i don't know why is something wrong with me or am i the only one i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one but I'm really excited for this and I feel like it's going to be very enjoyable. I, get, I heard mixed things about this. I know some people really just like didn't like this book and other people were like this is like prime literature. So we will see how I feel about this hopefully very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for staying this long because again like I probably wouldn't have I literally probably would have dipped within the first five minutes but if you stayed and you watched this entire thing I appreciate that so much thank you all so much for watching I hope you like this video hope you all are having an amazing night or day or whatever time of the day it is where you are and I will see you all in my next video Mwah. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. All night long, she putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest.